Hey guys, so this video is part of my Neutral Rainbow series, and this look is indigo. Um, so you can see we just have like a neutral eye with some bluish purple in the crease. Um, so if you want to see how you can get the other looks, you can check out the index video below, and here's how you can get this look. So I've already primed my eye with my MAC Paint Pot in Rubenesque, and the next step is going to be taking a dark shimmery brown, almost gold color, and I'm going to be using MAC Pigment in Cocoa Beach a little bit of gold shimmer to it. And I'm going to take this on my angled eyeliner brush, and this one is just from Forever 21. Uh, looks like that. And I'm going to dip this right in the lid of that paint or of that pigment. Tap off the excess, and then I'm going to use this to line my eye. So I'm just creating this kind of smoky effect with this brownish, it's almost pink. It's almost like a dark pinkish maroon brownie color. So I'm just lining my top lashes with that. It doesn't have to be perfect because again we're going for kind of a smoky effect. And I'm also going to do this underneath my eye. Keeping it pretty close to my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take my ring finger and just smooth that color out that again it smokes it out a little bit and you have more of just like a shade of color as opposed to a really pigmented um, shadow there. So now I'm going to take a little bit of a lighter matte brown and I'm using MAC eyeshadow in cork which is this one right here and I'm going to take this on my Afterglow Cosmetics crease brush which I like for this color because it's a very fluffy brush. I'm going to dip that right in there and then apply this to the inner half of my eye. Just on my upper lash line, or on my upper lid. And I'm going to go all the way up to my crease, staying a little bit below my crease. Next, I am going to take MAC Pigment in Subtle, which is a little bit of a lighter shimmery brown. And I'm going to take this on my Kirkland Signature by Borghi's Precision Eyeshadow Brush, which is a little, um, like, flat, domed brush. And I am just dipping this in the lid and tapping up the excess. And then I'm going to apply this color to the outer half of my eyelid. All the way up to my crease. Blending it with that cork shadow. And then I am going to take my eyeliner brush again and just go over my liner just to make it a little bit more defined. But you want it all to blend together. Okay, so this is basically the neutral look. The only thing I would add on top of this, if you were just wearing it as a neutral eye, would be a highlight color. And the highlight color I'm using for this look is from the my Kat Von D Beethoven palette. And the color is Tequila, which I'll show you is this color right here. But I'm actually not going to add that until I do my pop of color. So you can see this is the finished eye with the indigo pop of color in the crease, and then this is the finished neutral eye. So this is a really easy look to wear, um, just neutrally, but we're going to do our pop of color now. So what I'm going to use for this is um, two different shadows, actually. I'm going to be using Micabella Pigment in lavender, which is number 19, I believe, and it looks like that. It's not really lavender, but that's what they call it. And then I'm also going to be using a Coastal Scents shadow, or Coastal Scents Hot Pot, which is this one right here. I'm not exactly sure on the number, but I will put it right here when I figure it out, and it will also be in the description box. So first, I'm going to take my angled eyeliner brush, my Afterglow Cosmetics angled eyeliner brush, with a pump of my Afterglow Cosmetics Organic Color Lock, and I'm going to do a pump of this in the lid of that pigment, of my Micabella pigment. And then I'm going to mix this up so it creates like a liquid eyeliner consistency. And then I'm going to apply this to my crease. So we're going to get a really precise kind of cut crease. And I'm going to just apply this in my crease, kind of starting at the outer corner and working my way in, just going pretty slowly 
to make sure that we get it very precise. And I'm going to go about three-fourths of the way across my eye in my crease. You can see I'm ending about, about where my pupil ends. And then I'm kind of filling that in to the top of my crease. And then I'm going to take this same uh, brush and create the shape that I want on the outer corner of my eye, which is this kind of just like sharp triangle shape, and then we're going to blend out the top. So after I've created the shape of my crease, you can see it looks like this, almost just like a big cat eye. I'm going to take my dry shadow, and what I'm using again is that Coastal Sense Purple, and I'm going to take this on my Sephora contour brush, number 28, which looks like this, and I'm going to take it right on the flat end, and then apply it right over that purple shadow that we used wet just to smooth it out and blend it in with the rest of our lid so that it's not so harsh of a line on top. We still want it to be a pretty strong line underneath where it's in our crease because we want our crease to be really cut, um, but on top we're going to go ahead and blend it in with the rest of our lid and then I'm going to take my middle finger here and just smooth it out just so that we do get the sharp edge underneath as well. If you need to, you can go ahead and reapply your concealer underneath, underneath the outside, just so that you do get a very sharp, precise line right there. So after I've blended this into my eye, I'm going to take my highlight color, and again, the color I'm using is from my Kat Von D Beethoven palette, and the color is Tequila, it's this one right here. And I'm going to take this on my Kirkland sort signi <laughs> on my Kirkland Signature by Borghi's eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to apply this to my brow bone, blending it in with that shadow, all the way down to the inner corner of my eye, and then a little bit right underneath my lower lash line. So at this point, if you need to do any touch-ups on your eyeliner, if it got a little bit too softened, um, you can always apply it wet, like with a pump of that organic color lock, or you can apply a regular brown liquid eyeliner. I know Sephora makes a great coppery brown one. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the finished look before I've applied mascara or anything. So this is my neutral rainbow look with a pop of purple or a pop of indigo in the crease. And yeah, if you want to see the rest of the videos, I will post a link to the index video below. So have a great day and thanks for watching.